This is Kevin Ho here, and we are over here at 1743 Hayes Street. It's a great opportunity for Molly, uh, Poe, and Declan Vicky over at Indigo. Uh, you might remember they had this fantastic painted lady last time. So this is a fixer property, uh, and it's a Victorian that has a lot of potential and a lot of space and volume already, and it'll be kind of cool. You can see it's detached on three sides. You've got the traditional redwood side in here. You've got the concrete shingles, probably the asbestos concrete shingles, but you'll take those out and restore it and probably find something pretty neat underneath. Last time, uh, the owner bought it. It was kind of a fixer then, and they've done some touches, but now it's ready for its next opportunity. So we're gonna go in and you'll see it's your classic Victorian layout. Uh, tall ceilings, great detailing, great light, and it's an extra deep parcel. I think it's 137 thereabouts. Come in here first, you see I love this little baluster, and hey, how are you? There's one of our happy listing agents, there's Declan, he says hello. I love this, this is crazy. 11 and a half, yeah, right, 11 foot six is what we said. Two, lots of light, really pretty. How many square feet there about 30? 2,700. 2,700, so it's cool. And you've got this double parlor, triple parlor. It goes back to here. Look at that light there, it's really fantastic. You've got your kitchen here. Could be updated, not too much to do. And take a look back here, I love this space, this dining room space here. And look at that yard. Now the yard is pretty special. Um, first of all, you're deeper back than most of the other houses here. You've got skylights here. And take a look down here, you've got this massive yard. So it goes back uh, quite a good distance here. Right now you've got you know, lots of clover. It is springtime, you've got a little tub there, but you've got just a lot of opportunity and potential. Coming back here, there is a one bedroom or a studio down here. Upstairs, you see, you know, it's got some weathering, but it's, you know, these are things that people can do uh, fairly, you know, straightforward. There's some concrete here, and then there's also some brick in the front. Uh, let's take a look here. They have a little studio back here. Concrete down here, and a step down. You've got more space here, a little kitchen, I think, or kitchenette like or bar area. And they step up here to the older part of the house. And you've got your garage here. They're still in the process of moving out, but uh, you've got some upgraded electrical there. And um, you can see the foundation is a combination. Nice deep garage. Let's go upstairs. go up to the top floor. It's your typical, are you, your typical layout there. Lower um, thing here, I love this the little skylight there. The curve going here, and then you've got your tall rooms here. Your typical spread of rooms. Back here, you're looking back out onto, oh, that's a pretty pretty house the backyard, backyard here. This room is, let's see, 14 feet wide. Let's see the height here is 11 foot tall. On the second floor, it's 11 foot tall. That's pretty great. Laundry here. Bathroom here. You guys make this ensuite, like we saw last week in the video from Broderick. There are so many possibilities of combining, rearranging some of the partition walls this way. And up front, you've got the extra wide, the fainting room wall isn't here. So you've got here, an inspector there, making studious notes, I see. All right, and then coming through here, I think that goes into the other room here. But, oh, I got lost. Oh, and closet here. And then the room here. So 
fainting room once probably could have been here at one point, but it isn't. And um, there's that door here. The line is in here. Let's see if there's something back here. Oh yeah, that probably leads into there. Just a lot of possibility too. I love that upstairs too. Anyway, over here at 1743 Hayes, lots of possibilities. This is with Molly and Teclid. Um, I'm a fan, it's really neat. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine what it would be when it's done. And you've got a great location being so central to everything. And um, yeah, well, that's it for me. It's Kevin and I will see you at the next one.